Bay Systems Research and Development Arm has received a contract from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency as part of its massive cross-correlation program. Jinyoung Angland, most recently acting director of Defense Digital Service within the Chief Data and Artificial Intelligence Office of the Department of Defense, has transitioned to the role of Chief Strategy Officer for Algorithmic Warfare within CDAO. NASA is working with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin subsidiary, to develop and test autonomous software designed for future self-flying air taxis. The Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory secured six of the 18 public-private partnership grants awarded by the Department of Energy for fusion energy research. The Department of the Air Force has conducted a roadshow of enterprise information technology services at various military installations in preparation for the Wave 1 of its enterprise IT as a service program. The Atlantic Council has released a report recommending that the Department of Defense clarify and expand its definitions of human-machine teaming to cover wide-ranging applications for the approach. The U.S. Space Force and Air Force have concluded the first on-orbit capture the flag hacking competition aimed at improving the cybersecurity defenses of the U.S. military's satellite system. DARPA has put out a call for technical approaches as it launches a seven-month capability study that aims to develop technology concepts that could pave the way for the development of an integrated, multi-service lunar infrastructure. Trusted AI and Autonomy Forum on September 12, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. The U.S. Army has launched the civilian capability of the service branch's voluntary education and training portal, dubbed Army Ignited. The National Institute of Standards and Technology has released a reference tool for exploring the draft version of the updated NIST cybersecurity framework.